Blender add-ons, a vital ingredient for making the absolute best renders and without them, I don't know what I would do. So these aren't any random add-ons, I've handpicked these three from all those years of 3D work. Here are the top three add-ons I use on a day-to-day -day basis. The first add-on lets you add snow to any object in Blender. So what you want to do is go into edit, go into uh, preferences. Then what you want to do is uh, type in real snow into the search bar right there. Once you've typed it in, the add-on appears and now you should be able to tick the box, the grey box, and that has applied the add-on. So now you can exit that whole tab and what you want to do is press N and then um, once you've pressed N, you go into these, there's going to be a section that opens up and you can see there's loads of tabs and what you want to click is the real snow tab, this one right here, and then you want to select your object and then click add snow and this uh, you can do, control how much snow by uh, toggling the slider uh, there's a slider in the add-on and it has um, coverage like so shows the coverage and height you can just adjust that to your preference and yeah that's it really that is add-on number one and let's get into add-on number two this second add-on is going to help you make incredible landscapes in Blender. So this add-on has been used heavily by 3D artists to create beautiful landscapes. So I'll show you now how to add it. So go into edit, preferences, type in a.n.t landscape um, like so. And then there's your add-on, is there only one there? So it should be easy to find. And then just tick the grey box and now it has been applied. Now you can exit that tab and it's all been applied, it's all ready to use. Now go to Shift A, go, go into Mesh and then go all the way down to where it says Landscape and then click on that and it should add in a landscape. But now if you want to customise that, you just go to the bottom left tab like so, open that up and now you can play around with the settings, make the landscape bigger, smaller, more has has more depth to it, you can change it to have however you like. And yeah, that is what I use for the majority of my outdoor uh, sceneries. This add-on is super, super useful. And this is the last add-on we are going to uh, show you. So this add-on basically stores extra meshes that have already been made but can be modified to your liking so to add this you're going to go into edit preferences and then what you want to type in is extra and then once that uh, appears there's two add-ons but you want to click on the one that says mesh uh, like so mesh add, add mesh extra objects yeah you want to click on this one right here this will add extra objects to your scene so you'll know what i mean so shift a so now when you press shift a it's going to open a tab but it's going to open many more options so as you can see there's more options here like pip joints gears uh, diamonds gems the one i use most is gems and when you click on that it automatically uh, adds in a gem for you but you can change that to your own liking and it has um, a tab where you can change uh, the subdivision count the depth the polygon count so this is anything everything in this add-on can be changed and every model can be changed which is very 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 useful for quick scenes you want to make in blender so yeah that is all the add-ons in blender and if you would like another video please subscribe and like and comment down below what you would like me to make a video on next and i'll be sure to reply thank you